Ga? 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 Oh dear. Ga? Ga? I'm Burr's new band. Ga? Ga? I just say actually remember. The opening area I can remember pretty well. And then there's like... Level up it. To hop into. I've seen maybe 10 minutes of this game total. <laughs> I've watched an entire LP, but I've never played it. Ba 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 Man, that mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember the days when plants were just sprites? I do. They just rotated the face of the camp. Isn't that still the case in some of the games? Yes. Mostly in like racing games and things though, where they are very decorative and you're going to be seeing them briefly. Oh my gosh, Mondo, I can't stop them from playing music. <laughs> Mondo is too powerful. Ba 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 <laughs> Welcome to Banjo Kazooie. I uh -huh. am, I am your captain, Haley Spider, and I am joined today by friends. Everything is just a little bit too slow right now, and that's upsetting me. We're the friends. Hi. Hello. I'm Paul Lucapin. Oh, I see. Um, I'm Fiona. <laughs> I'm Ketzel. I just said words and didn't introduce myself. Hi, Wordsy. Hi, Wordsy. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is the game. This is the reason I got an N64 instead of a PlayStation. I did that because of Mario. <laughs> also, this game was also quite good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got an N64 because I played it. Played Mario Kart with my cousins and who liked it, so that's why that was that's what we got. I was a PlayStation girl. Mm. I eventually got the, the See, glowing, I was all about the PlayStation back when I was back when I was um back when I couldn't afford any of the consoles. I um I was all about PlayStation. We would just rent it whenever I successfully went to a dentist appointment. <laughs> And I would play Spyro and Crash Bandicoot forever. And eventually my parents were like, okay, if you do really well this, this like, until the summer, we'll buy you a PlayStation. And I was like, yeah. But then I saw a trailer for Banjo-Kazooie and it was like, okay, I want an N64 instead. <laughs> no, no, no. You must do that. <laughs> if we're not going to be reading today. I trust y'all to be able to read silently. Haley and Haley can uh, back me up here. Uh, on the first title screen, like the logo, where it has the dragonfly enemy, my first reaction was, is that Sparks? It does look a lot like Sparks. Uh, here's Tootie, who is apparently the most beautiful lady in the land. Is she a bear? She is a bear. Also, here's a mole. Bears can be beautiful too. She looks like the girl Crash Bandicoot, so I'm just trying to figure out all the species at uh, array here. She kind of looks like Coco. <laughs> yeah, she does kind of look like Coco. <laughs> she does not have a lot to distinguish her as a bear. No. Besides being sister to a bear. Well, yeah, but you look at her and I don't know if bear is going to be your first guess. Anyway, I Grunty's don't here. I would look at Coco and guess Bandicoot. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know, really know what Bandicoots look like in real life. I wouldn't see an actual Bandicoot and guess Bandicoot my first go. I want to say I saw one 
when I was in Australia, and it, it just looks like a, a little a little rodent guy with like a long nose. They're cute. It still screws me up that his eyes are on his glasses. <laughs> his eye decks are on his glasses model. Isn't that how glasses work? No. Oh, I just thought that's how glasses work. <laughs> Wait, see, don't you wear glasses not because you have to, but because you like how they look on you? Yeah, I have 20-20 vision, so I don't need them, but I just thought, like, my eyes just burst forward <laughs> onto the glasses. <laughs> Banjo's got the round little bear ears that you can see and identify. <laughs> yeah, Banjo's <laughs> clearly a bear. They're, like, inside the big tail. I mean, the, the gender of the animals is definitely not as bad as, like, Black Sad, where, like, all the males look like animals, like furries. Yeah. All the, the women look like just humans with weird noses. I'm yeah. just remembering the Oakle Laugh comic. <laughs> Banjo's house. Well, something happened. Let's find out what. Crouch jump into the window. <laughs> Bottles. That's right, it's not. Bottles. <laughs> I have wondered for years what the nature of Banjo and Kazooie's relationship is. And I am very happy to announce that the the Japanese Nintendo Smash Brothers reveal trailer had the title Nakama, which means that Banjo and Kazooie are Nakama. And I don't think that requires any more explanation. I always thought they were. I, I, I was confused. <laughs> Hey, guess what? This this game's a trailblazer. It lets you just skip the tutorial if you don't need to do it. We're going to skip. <laughs> I've always liked the small. WLW, MLM, Solidarity, and one brain cell between them. So you actually pronounce the letters and then say Willow and Noel. No, I do, usually. I just want it to be very clear. So, I skipped the tutorial so we can do everything. We don't have to worry about learning everything. We are still going to run around, though, because there is a special reward in the form of these honeycombs. Is that a giant carrot with eyes? It is! Yeah. Welcome to, welcome to Banjo Kazooie Castle. <laughs> if... And the sixty-four <laughs> enemy design is something real. Castle, if this is if that's bothering you, you're in for a ride. You also, I was trying to figure out if it was like something you you talk to or a threat. <laughs> threat. It, also, it's bounce. It has it's blinking and bouncing, so probably a threat. <laughs> There is, um, there is a downside to um, skipping the tutorial, which is if you skip it without actually knowing the tutorial, Bottles just refuses to tell you anything. Yep. Don't skip the fucking tutorial then. <laughs> well, I don't need to skip it. I'm fine. I'm just Most saying that if, if one were to accidentally skip the tutorial, they'd be in trouble. Yep. Well, like at this Nintendo point, it's not too like... much of a too much of a cost to reset the game. Yeah, but I'm good. Pro professional. Listen, I could speed run this game if I wanted to. Maybe. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, it's an N64 platform made by Rare. I'm sure there's some wacky tricks in this. Oh god, probably. I remember watching one See? a couple years back that was very impressive. If I know anything about Donkey Kong Country, the fact that you're swimming there means you can probably go down, clip through the geometry, and swim oh. everywhere. Oh dear. Mm. The characters 
call it a topper. I think it's called a ball. And the cauliflower is called a cauliwobble. <laughs> Thank you, Yumi Sparkles. I actually oh, didn't did. remember any of those like, names except like for cauliwobble. Okay. Somewhere. I've probably still got the strategy guide for this game. Nice. Oh. I, this game is the one that introduced me to the concept of strategy guide. I just didn't know they existed. Everything is alive in Rareware games. Everything. It might be in one of the boxes in here. For, for P.O.'s sake, I'm not gonna tell everyone the book that's staring at me from one of these boxes. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I need to get used to the frame rate right now. So... It's one of the How to Draw Mangas? No. That that's on your shelf. They, no, there are, there are those are everywhere. There are lots of them. I see five on a shelf. Sitting. Something. Another very nice quality of life thing. Um, these these health things that are just sitting around here, they don't go away. They don't fade oh. away like in a lot of games. So if you're ever, oh, if you're on. If you're at full health, you can just leave it around and if, and just find your way back around to it later. It's kind of impressive that he has 64. Yeah, death. Got them persistent health pickups. Look at these rocks. They're also alive. Let's kill them. Look at Baron just strut. Look at that rock. You can go there. This is called the Beak Barge, I believe. And we get another honeycomb. Just two left, and something will happen. I wonder what could possibly happen. I can't imagine. Uh, uh, my guess I, is. I literally don't know. Um, what? I do I like actually know. Big parts. Those rocks are called quarries. Oh, you missed the park because this is. Thank you so much. Please just tell <laughs> us all of these names. I, I unironically though, unironically, I want to hear all the names because I don't remember all of them. You yeah, the I was, I was, no, I'm not at all being ironic. I, I really want to hear all of these names. <laughs> Swimming. I'm curious, is there like a, a Navi sort of thing in this game where it tells you like, oh, this is this sort of enemy, or can you only find out from? Uh, like, I believe guys? they're all listed in the credits. Somewhere. Yeah, they are. Um, the last, the last honeycomb. A secret. Oh. And we get an extra piece of health. Hurrah! Health up. Go. All right. The last leg of our journey is to climb up Spiral Mountain and make our way to Gruntilda's lair. I can't believe. So. Oh, there's so much I could talk about. <laughs> I'm, I'm really hoping that like Gruntilda will have rhymes for every character. That'd be pretty good. <laughs> uh, yeah. If anyone missed what was happening in the opening cutscene, basically Gruntilda's mad that her cauldron thought that Tootie was hotter than her, so she stole Tootie and is planning to steal her beauty from her. Seems reasonable to me. That's a pretty normal thing to do, I think. Mm -hmm. If I was a witch, I'd probably do stuff like that. <laughs> I would constantly be like, yo, where'd that beauty at? Let's walk right into Gruntilda's mouth. Which, yeah, let's... <laughs> Let's take a moment to appreciate that Gruntilda just made her entire lair just her face. That's normal. <laughs> That's what my lair is. <laughs> Gruntilda's just having a normal one today. I like how it, you know, it just looms over Banjo, the area where Banjo lives. He just yeah. lives next to it all. <laughs> it feels like... I don't know, that's something you would have noticed at some point. You think they borrowed, like, sugar and stuff? <laughs> I, it's a funny thing to imagine that they've just had a cordial relationship up until, <laughs> up until the point. <laughs> they just 
imagine quite grunty over to like potlucks <laughs> and like they're just all nice and friendly and the like, grunty suddenly just fucking kidnaps the dude. <laughs> just one she's just feel she's just having a bad day today and her her fucking pot was just like my tricks and traps. We'll see who wins. A fun thing about just hanging out in Grunty's lair is that she just sometimes commentates on what you're doing. I like ever present villains telling me about things happening. There's nest games everywhere. <laughs> I also I love the walls in this place because it's all monster faces. Yeah. <laughs> they're all they're all just having a great time. I always thought that this looked like one of the killer tomatoes from Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. A bit. Ah, I'm a tomato, what's up, man? <laughs> How are you enjoying the stream, everybody? Well, let's first things first. Let's just go up here. Oh dear, that's a problem. Well, let's see. Maybe over here. Oh. Collectibles. What? We'll never collect anything. Well, this Not door's real. closed. Okay. How do you know this stuff, bottles? I guess this. You know what, this actually just kind of further proves our theory. M Bottles has just gone over on just friendly visits before and has been to Mumbo's Mountain. Oh no. Hey, Mumbo just lives in Grunty. Yeah. <laughs> in Grunty's lair? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Listen. Um, Haley, do you suppose you could turn some of this up? Um, what specifically? Like cannot be heard. The voices are all different volumes. Uh, yeah, I can try and turn people's... Let's see. I imagine uh, mine is probably the one, one of the ones who's down, because my mic is a, like, five-year-old... I'll turn you up. ...thing. I'll turn... Where did you up? I'll turn Fee up. I've been turned up. This is how, this is me now. Okay. Welcome to me being up. All right, let me know if I'll turn mine up a little bit. Uh, everybody, say your names real fast so Yumi can tell us. Like, can I can tell us. Penny, and I hope I'm not too quiet. I'm Fiona, and I'm pretty sure I'm not too quiet. I'm Ketzel. I might be quiet. I'm Wordsy. I don't have a quiet thing to say. <laughs> that picture is empty. <laughs> anyway, the only thing we can do right now is collect this puzzle piece. The only option available. Either that, or zip clip through a wall. <laughs> Mr. Jiggy? Okay, sounds okay, so like... It looks like me and Ketzel are probably quiet. Okay, I'm gonna turn... Uh, hi, I'm I'm Haley, my pronouns are she, her. Um, uh, public, sorry. Uh, I'm Fiona, also she, her. Public Hi. opinion, he, him. I'm Ketzel, she, her. I'm Wordsy, he, him. And I think I've turned everybody up a good amount. Wordsy, you said that so lyrically, like... <laughs> Say like, he, yeah. him, like, yeehaw. <laughs> he, I like him! <laughs> I, I, have, I have trouble not singing things when I talk. I completely understand <laughs> it. It's very... Alright. Well, we have a puzzle piece. There's one puzzle piece missing from this picture. Let's do it. I w if this game was made now and by Toby Fox, I am there would be a difficulty where like this puzzle piece wouldn't fit or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then the door would just like fall open anyway. It reminds me of those uh, Breath of the Wild, not Breath of the Wild, uh, Skyward Sword, like, 
boss key puzzles where you had to move the key around to fit into the little shape. Oh, yeah. More puzzles should be shape-based. It's kind of funny, the way that they talk about these puzzles, it implies that you're supposed to, like, put them together, but they just go in automatically. Kazooie just does all of them for you. <laughs> I love in this game, at least I... I mean, it's muted, so I'm just going off memory, but how, like, the level leitmotif kind of blend or the instrumentation blends into the dungeon theme as you yeah. go towards them. It does do that. It's it's very dynamic. Yeah, huh. So, Grunty just has these pads in her, in her spot that, like, you know, are, have Banjo and Kazoo's face on them. You know what? I don't actually know if this technically is... I don't actually know if, like, this place is, like, inside of her, of her lair, or if she just has warp places that, like, lead to it. Like portals? Yeah. Uh, it's got her head on it. I don't... Those, her enemies are called grubbins. I mean, but grubbins. this, like, this place, Mumbo's Mountain, I don't know if it's, like, inside of the place or if you just warp there. Hmm. Seems like you warp there, right? Maybe because so, you walk through a door and end up on a pad, and I I can't think of the last time that happened to me. <laughs> There's a guy here. I can. The exits indicate warps, but the entrances indicate it's inside. Okay. Huh. Wait. In so is this in inside? No clue. Jinjo. Jinjo. We just rescued one Jinjo. There's five of them. Is this a hummingbird thing? It, it's a Jinjo. <laughs> it's a Jinjo. Oh, Don't you know a Jinjo when you see one? Fair enough. And this is Mumbo's token. <laughs> yeah, um, Grunty, Gruntilda the Witch has apparently, like, cursed the Jinjos so they can't move or something. But then you save them. So you think, like, like, in games like this that are collecting things, you think the bad guy's, like, power is just separating things into collectible form? <laughs> Possibly? <laughs> that's kind of what it seems to be. Musical notes. There's a lot of things to collect. There's a lot less yeah. things to collect in this game than there are in the second game. They, I they keep know. hearing things about Banjo-Tooie, and they scare me. <laughs> <laughs> I've played a lot of Banjo Tooie, and boy, Banjo Tooie is a game. Banjo Tooie. I don't remember much about it, and I have a hard time remembering what was Banjo Tooie and what was this game. I loved Banjo Tooie a lot as a kid. I like it a lot less as an adult. I so, have to admit. Banjo Tooie reminds me of Dark Souls 2. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna walk me through that thought? Explain. I, I, I can't. I just I just know it's all I I there's a specific there's a Jinjo that reminds me of Vindrick. <laughs> Do you wanna walk me through that? The King Jinjo? <laughs> the King Jinjo <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got so wet. I, I, can't... I mean, I think... he is a giant and a king. I think <sighs> that Banjo Kazooie is overall the tighter game. It has, I think it has a more controllable number of collectibles. The worlds all feel tighter. I don't know. It's, it's more high energy agree. than the second one. It's also King, king Jinjo, just as Vendrick, is giant, a king, and ravaged by an undead curse that turns him into a mindless monster. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> Can't walk up these hills, so whatever. We'll never have to get up. We'll never get up, it's impossible. Hmm. Gaming sparkles. Yeah, I think this game is more, like... I guess the tones, like... Ah, uh, oof. More friendly. Big Butt Bull. Big Butt. Oh, his name big is Big Butt Bull, but his butt is not particularly large. 
No, I mean, maybe not relatively, but in absolute terms. I suppose. It's a handful. In absolute terms of bull. The absolute bull. This, this absolute butt. <laughs> the, the size of the lad. The bull is named Big Butt. Oh, his name's Big Butt because he headbutts you. I get it. Yeah. Uh, this hun this beehive has honeycombs inside of it. He I, but he's so, so distraught. Distraught, yeah. I feel like you should leave those honeycombs away. Well, no. Oh. No. no. I didn't even no. need them. I didn't even need them. Andrew, you're a monster. Andrew is a stone cold thief. Those I... those bees are gonna die because you stole all their food. And now Conga, it's throwing oranges at me. I remember this very specifically because I would stare at this monkey's boots forever. I needed these boots. Very shiny boots. <laughs> as a, as a young wordsy, I said, "Mmm." Give me these boots. Give me these boots. And clearly, you only need to backtrack once there being a gap. There's so much back. Yeah, kinda. But Coop, Tui had like a big circus thing where you fought a dinosaur. <laughs> it was searching for 10 of us on each world. Yep. Oh, sorry, we're not reading text. <laughs> so, cut. Yeah, I know how to do things, Bottles. I feel like the Jack and Daxter developers probably played this a lot. <coughs> oh, they extremely did. Hey, look, it's Diddy Kong? No, it's not Diddy. It's Chimpy, you fool. <laughs> I stole Konga's orange, too. Yay! I'm just ruining this ape's day. I destroyed his blocks. I took his orange. Oranges are nice. Orange. <laughs> yeah. You mean, uh, Kazooie and Tui are definitely very different animals in terms of what kind of games they are. Uh, where to your echo? Am I? I'm sorry. I do still like Tui. I just very much prefer Banjo overall. Banjo Kazooie overall. Eggs. Collect the eggs. So you can play the Golden Eye style multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Or was that in Tui? That's in Tui. Hey, hey, bottles. <laughs> Teach me how to shoot eggs. We are the eggs. Man, just everything is alive. <laughs> Literally everything. <laughs> One hundred eggs. Thank you for topping us off. All right, we can shoot eggs now. Excellent. You can shoot them from the front, and you can shoot them from behind. How exciting! Let's let's not worry about shooting them from behind for a while. Um, don't, don't worry about it. Honestly, shooting them from the front is the don't less- worry about it. The less- the more upsetting one, to be honest. Don't worry about it. You're worrying about it. I'm not don't. worrying about it. I'm not mad. I'm laughing, actually. Egg hurt Kanga. Poor don't Kanga. Exaggerate. Thank you, Conga. Bye. Alright. Did I say it? 
Hey, I think I like about this game when you get when you get puzzle pieces and kick you out the world. Hmm. I think I like about this game is when you get puzzle pieces, it doesn't kick you out of the world. Like that's also crazy. that is very nice. I think that's one of the big improvements that this game made on Mario sixty four. Just like Super Mario Odyssey. Yep. <laughs> yeah. T you're in the way of this note, Big Butt. Thank you. Oh, I can't, I can't get it. Get your Big Butt out of the way. It's unmovable. Nothing moves the butt. You can't extract it. Excuse me? What's what was that verb you used? You can't extract it. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a third try. Really want... think about your verb use. I don't want to exacerbate the issue. Are you I making egg puns? puns? Are now. you making egg puns? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Bottles, teach me how to walk on things. This is just making egg puns so that he stop that so that I stop questioning him. I'm trying to exterminate that part of the conversation. We can start saying words that start with P again. <laughs> no. no. We can't do that again. <laughs> no, I will end this stream if we do that. Alright. Now All we right, can be Kazooie! Great. I always wanted to be Kazooie more than Banjo, so this was the best part. I... I, I, I can still hear the wah the noise you make. <laughs> Every footstep. I've never even played this game and I can hear that. Yeah. In this game, this is the closest you can get to playing as Kazooie. So I'm gonna be doing it a lot. <laughs> I liked playing as Kazooie because she was a girl, and girls are the best. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. Termite! Fuck you, Termite. Hmm. These termites are entirely too big. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> Don't... Uh, thank, thank you for the tip, Yumi, but I promise I, I played this game enough that I know how to do everything. Are the notes, like, Mario coins, or...? Uh, there's something. Okay. <laughs> they, they'll be important later. Hey. Oh, this guy. It's Mumbo Jumbo. I love him so much. He has special magic. We don't have enough tokens. Also, We're poor. I... Because we so... Foul. Ah, uh, I get it. What is your tip? If you have something special, I'd love to hear it. Another friend. Oh, and one last, one last thing to learn. Gave us the power of the Beak Buster. It's- this is our butt slam of the game. It's- it's- The only butt slam in games that is not actually a butt slam. <laughs> That's- It's a collect a thon. Yeah. It's got- it requires having a butt slam. <laughs> I never thought about that. That's extraordinary. Um... Spyro's butt slams a head bash. Fair That's enough. That is true. Look at all the notes. So, yeah, uh, Bottles just mentioned it, but the notes basically exist to open doors in the... Hmm. They're basically... Get these to progress further into the world. Huh. Oh, like, uh, Gems and Spyro or something. Yeah, like that. 
Jiggies open the wor open uh, worlds and notes open more of the lair to get to the worlds. More progress. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, extra life. Excellent. Yaha. 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 Blamp, blamp. I also really like Mumbo's hut design. Yeah, I, thought, <laughs> I, I thought it was the coolest. It's good. And because of the, the, the Jamaican heritage. I always enjoyed, like, imagining Mumbo would be, like, very, very much like my grandmother. Yeah? Yeah, because she has the thickest accent I've ever heard in my whole life. I didn't know that you had Jamaican heritage. That's cool. Yeah, true. Secret. Get one of these. Oh. Two of these in every world. I would not have figured out that you need to throw eggs in their mouth. I would have thought you needed to collect blue like, stones. Blue stones, yeah. <laughs> Got him. And now that we have the Talon Trot, we can actually walk around on slippery slopes and collect these notes. Because we is... technically have enough notes to um, to get to the next door, but we're going to collect all of them in one go because one of the more annoying things about this game, you do not actually get to keep the notes when you leave. Instead, you get a um, you have a note score, and that is recorded, but the actual notes themselves aren't. If you leave, your note score is recorded, but it doesn't stay. You have to collect all of them again if you come back. To Oof. you have to beat your note score to be able to keep the note score. It's ridiculous and bad. So huh. there's really no point leaving a world until you've gotten all of the notes. I, I as a child, I never realized that, and I might have just been like, "Yeah, fuck, get jump, woo, platform." <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Well, that one's too st it's too steep even for Kazooie. What on earth will we do in that case? Uh, give up and go home. Yep. That is my thought. I it's guess immediately give up. 2D can 2D can just be ugly, I guess. Die. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I I failed a lot in this game cuz I was way worse video games than I am now. <laughs> and I I saw the the ending I guess the game over screen a whole lot. <laughs> I mean, the game over screen plays every time you quit, so like. It's true. I just. Oh, well, that was also the time when I never turned off my consoles, ever. Ah, of course. Yeah. I was also that kind of child. Look, it's Gruntilda's face. She has betrayed us. Myself. She will never be invited over for a Pollock again. I mean, yeah. Let's smack her in the face. Ah. That happened. Good, good. Hey, look. We've got almost everything in this world at this point. The first world is very, very small and very easy to get around in. As the first world should be. Please tutorialize some things. I hear the telltale sounds Telltale cries of help of a Jinjo. But where? But where? But where? There you are. <laughs> and I believe we have. We're missing one mumbo token. And I'm not sure where it is. Is it not in the hole? Oh, I think I do know where it is. Jace. There's Are this you? one big thing, a big, big termite mound. Let's take a look inside of it. Assuming 
There it is. There's the entrance. No bears allowed in Ticker's Tower. Okay. Wait, do termites have? I think they do. Mouths? I I've never seen a termite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think they do. Yeah, they do. Cool. They're like the, the big, big structures. Yeah, am I the only one who's just... God. <laughs> I don't remember where I saw it, but we went on like a school trip and they had these giant termites. Ketzel, I've talked about how our voices are kind of similar sometimes, and you just spoke, and I legitimately thought I was talking for a second. <laughs> I think when I introduced myself, like I didn't, like I didn't know it was me talking. <laughs> like when I when I heard it back on on the on the stream because I had it unmuted then. <laughs> Mumbo, show us, show us your magic. Let's find out what this magic is. One day, I hope my universe is We've been transformed. We're a termite now. Boing. Friendship and termite magic. <laughs> is Kazooie a termite? Uh, Kazooie just kind of hangs out in your backpack while you're a termite. So, no one knows. That's very unfortunate for her. <laughs> also, this tournament has shorts. <laughs> yep. You always keep your shorts, no matter what form you're in. <laughs> I always loved walking around as the termite. I love the way that the legs, like, go around and the, the noise, the little tick-tick noise that you make. It's good. It's a PSA for y'all. Never take off. <laughs> Uh, what's happening? Eat. I always wear a pair of shorts just in case basketball happens. <laughs> People How work. often does that come into play? The termite it's wants my shorts. It's only happened once. So you can't attack while you're in termite form, but you can climb steeper surfaces than even Kazooie can. Is it because you have sticky termite feet? Eat. Well, get transformed into a termite. Working on it. Excuse me? <laughs> Maybe that one, uh, that one monkey guy's boots has, are sticky. Oh man, that'd be good. Come on, give me your boots. <laughs> the unfortunate thing about the transformations is that you don't get to, there's not a whole lot, there's only like one or two things that are actually necessary for it, but I, I loved them so much that I would just run around the, as a kid, I would just run around in these forms, just in the level, and just have fun being a termite. This might be why my persona is a spider, now that I think about it. Because <laughs> being a termite was so much fun. You were talking about the legs a lot. Six legs? Six legs are dumb. Eight legs <laughs> is where it's at. Six legs good, eight legs better. More equal. <laughs> <laughs> and climb around on here and get this. And with that, we are officially done with Mumbo's Mountain. I'm going to walk around and be a termite just a little bit longer, though, because it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> no one can stop me. This is my stream. It's true. Just look at how the legs move. It's fun. Tick, 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 tick. Huh. I could maybe try to stop you, but I'm busy doing a thing. <laughs> okay, but six legs, but also some wings. Oh, uh, hmm, yeah. Life's, I can. Life's, life's pretty dope. Look at the little termite dance. Yeah. He's dancing to the music. Okay. Um, but what if? I, this is out. I know this is out there. Oh, but. The travels. Eight legs and wings. Oh my god. Now you're speaking my language. 
this. Oh boy. <laughs> and the moth girl. Oh, moth girl. Oh, nice! They're very good. Moths are good. As long as we don't give any centipedes with it. Oh no, apes don't like. Apes don't like termites. <laughs> you gotta hate. Apes do bulls... don't like a lot of things. Do bulls like termites? Apes. No, they don't. Ah! I said it. Fuck apes. But you're talking about my dad. My dad, Donkey Kong. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to leave as a termite because there is one more thing that a termite can do. I think I know what it is. And it's really high up. <laughs> Thank you for telling me about the note score. I already knew. We can climb up here! That And get one more jiggy. And we don't even have to go back to Mumbo to change back because his magic gets weaker as we go away. That's awesome. It's really clever to hide yeah, like a bad thing magic there. does. <laughs> That's right, I'm calling you the fuck out, Mumbo. <laughs> Well, fortunately, we're leaving his mountain and we're never going to see him again. So, yep. don't need to Mumbo worry about that. Back to game. Mumbo, stay here again. We can go up here now with Kazooie's feet. We Do needed you think Grunty's magic gets weaker if you leave, like, five feet away from her? No. <laughs> of course not. I mean, this is her entire lair. It's probably, like... Yeah, and her entire layer is bigger than the than what <laughs> Mumbo himself can eat. <laughs> All right, so that that door says fifty on it, so we can just open it right on up. <laughs> it's a gruntling get hacked gruntling I like his skull jacket <laughs> I guess it's skull hoodie but... oh this little cauldron it's adorable, right? It is adorable. I love it. It kind of flies a little bit. We can't do anything with it yet. But eventually we'll find its brother. Hello, can anyone hear me? Yes! Yes. yes. There you are. I was w just kind of wondering what happened to you. I've been commentating for a while. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I dear. should have noticed that because I should have heard you in the other room, but I didn't. Sorry. <laughs> Anyway, I was just saying that I've been very confused recently as the word baddie apparently has come to mean hot girl on Instagram. Yeah. And not just video game enemy. Yep, that is true. Really? Yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's a girl I know who or she, she's a baddie and that is all she does is post pictures of herself. <laughs> Look, it's yeah. Bryn Tilda. Yeah. She's Gruntilda's sister, and she's here to tell me secrets about her. Somebody open up uh, a notepad document because we need to. We need to learn important. We need to learn the tea about Gruntilda, and it Sorry. it's much more important than you might think. I actually know exactly how important. It is. <laughs> Does anybody have a notepad open? Yeah, I'm going to type it in the chat. Okay. Get it out early. All right, Mate, cool. Grunty Just brushes see. her rotten teeth with moldy cheese flavored toothpaste. Putting that in the Discord, I assume? Uh, yeah. 
Good plan. She also washes her hair with baked beans. <laughs> Delicious. And she gets her clothes from the witch's warehouse. Thank you, Brentelda. Fun fact, there's a speedrunning tool used that uh, you can talk to Brentelda like two or three and it'll tell you what all of the answers are. Huh, cool. Hmm. We've opened our next world, Treasure Trove Cove. Also, my graphics just crashed, so I will... Okay. <laughs> See you in a bit, then. I figure we can probably do another world. I assume. Yeah. I'm yeah. pretty good at getting through this game pretty fast, so... I look forward to when we get to Rusty Bucket Bay because that one is my favorite. Rusty Bucket Bay is good. I think. That, I think Mad like Monster the Mansion. Swamp World. Is my favorite. Specifically for the giant robotic fish. Yeah. Ah. Give me things. Thank you. So, Ketzel, what do you think of this game so far? I think I would have been really into this if I had played this. <laughs> like, when I was playing Spyro and, and Jack and Dexter and all of those other platformers. Oh, yeah, this is definitely, like... As far as those games are concerned, I... I don't... I'm not gonna call it the best. I mean, for me, it's the best. But, like, you know, there's no accounting for taste. But, um... But I would say it's probably the most, like the best example of a of like how to make one of these games it's just really just well put together yeah there's like a lot of like neat little corners that aren't like too difficult to find but yeah. like it, it rewards exploration those are nice and big yeah yeah i'm kind of surprised how much more like jack and daxter it is than like mario one thing I remember kind of liking is how much more how much personality the uh, the overworld or the hub world has. Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, Grunty's Lair feels sort of like a world on its own. It's very nice, I think. Let's just jump into this treasure chest. That's probably fine. I think so. Treasure Trove Cove was a world I like a lot growing up. I spent a lot of time here. It's good. Man, it's a big chest. Ahoy, matey. Right, man, oh, look, there's a ginger right there in the water. Let's go get it. Oh, God! <laughs> well, that be easy. There is a shark! There is a shark! Does the mole talk in pi pirate talk? Uh, level. not the whole time, just that one time. Cause Shame. he's a nerd who likes to... Bottles is a nerd. That's all you really need to know about him. The Jimmy Buffett fan. <laughs> he totally is, oh god. Uh, Ketzel, you're gonna have to... Oh. When I put this in video on demand, on YouTube, you're gonna have to watch it again so you can hear the music because this game has good music. Uh, it always, I always was slightly distressed by the cr these crabs and how they can continue to just have their smile. Yeah. Their, you know, pieces. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Blubber's uh, noise that he makes when he talks is just burps. He just burps at you a bunch. Thanks, bud. Not a problem. Lover guts. Where Aww. are... Let's find his gold for him. Did he eat the hippo hippo? I unpaused it to... Or I unmuted the screen to hear. Quite good. good.
The shark is called Snacker, and the crabs are called Snippets. <laughs> oh, that's... I didn't know the crabs are called Snippets. It's awesome. <laughs> God, just ev I'd for forgotten that just everything is alive. Everything is alive. Everything is alive. Se several gold bars are alive. Not one gold bar, several gold bars. <laughs> several gold bars. As a unit. I can't, I can't imagine going to work and like picking up a pump. And then the pump just goes, Hey there, work i am here to pump the water for you. <laughs> Collect five of me. <laughs> We can get all the water out of this tank! <laughs> Here's a puzzle piece at the bottom of it. <laughs> but you haven't learned how to swim yet. Um, I feel like I can't remember this on. In, in uh, Ukulele, which is an okay game that I should probably like try playing again, maybe, um, there is a separate class of enemy that is just a pair of eyeballs that will just go on to different inanimate objects and bring them to life. Oh, that wow. is the That's clever. There's a lot of things about ukulele that I really like. It's just a little hard to play, and I should, I should give it another chance because apparently they updated it. But there's gonna be a sequel soon, right? Uh, yeah, there is. I think that's a 2D platformer, though, right? Yeah, it's. I thought, I assumed it was 3D. I think I saw that E3 trailer. Thank you for this gold! Here's some gold! I love gold. I also it's, love it's gold. Just, it's, it's but basically just modern adventures. Gold specifically in, in jigsaw form, though. I have no use for gold that is not shaped like a jigsaw. I like puzzles, but hey, I love gold. <laughs> That was a ludicrous reference. I'm so sorry. Thank you for the ludicrous reference. Sorry, I didn't get it. There's no need to apologize for a ludicrous it reference. No more ludicrous. No, you're good. It's fine. Hey, <laughs> this nippers be- wait. I'm not- we're not reading. I l this crab. This is the closest Ow. thing we're going to have to a boss fight in this entire game until the end. Okay, so Nipper was literally offering art to help us, and Kazooie was just like, fuck you. <laughs> so now we have to fight him. Why is Kazooie so mean? Kazooie We're going to have to... Kazooie lives that. in a backpack that comes with a lot of frustration. <laughs> Next time I play Ratty in a game, I'm just going to have to try and channel Kazooie more. Oh god, you Kazooie. super have to, yeah. Kazooie and I share a soul. <laughs> It's just so mad at everyone, and I love it. <laughs> Literally, the only person in the world who can stand her is Banjo. <laughs> that's because his whole thing is, what? And that's it. It's... Ow. <laughs> Snip it. What? Banjo is literally the kindest and most forgiving being in the universe, and is the only person who understands Kazooie. They are Nakama. He understands, but Dewey is just... She's in a bad place and had a rough life. She lashes <laughs> out because of him, but oh. deep down, she's still helping. <laughs> she's in a bad place in the backpack. You're right. <laughs> Actually, Yumi, you're right. There is another boss fight later on. I forgot. I'm gonna go to work in a backpack. <laughs> I'll see how bad my day goes. <laughs> So in the aforementioned Banto Kazooie fan comic, it was Kazooie's backstory, and she was an orphan. Is that oh. part of the game? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Whoa. As far as I know, there is no backstory to why Banjo and Kazooie live together. They just do. And really, Prince? do we need Prince anything more than best. that? I say no. I think part of I think part of the backstory is that her parents died in a fire. So... Oh, yeah, that cool, <laughs> cool, very, very great. That had far too much work put into it. 
I mean, that would explain why she doesn't know all these things she can do. <laughs> she was never taught. How do well, I burn? Well, now it's sad. I mean, a lot of the things that Kazooie can do do require, like, Banjo as a counterweight. I don't think she could really do, like, a beak slam like this without Banjo. Like... <laughs> She could probably fly easier without Banjo. Probably, but like everything else, she kind of needs Banjo. Also, we can do this now. It's symbiosis. Exactly. If anyone, if anyone needs to like explain biology to anyone. <laughs> Banjo and Kazooie are just like Eddie and Venom. Ex <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm just going to take that at face value and not question it at all. <laughs> Your comment. Just as Banjo and Kazooie are Eddie and Venom to our Nakama. <laughs> if you really think about it, any great duo are just Eddie, Venom, and Banjo. It's just the same thing. Yeah, it's, you know, it's... in your OTP, who's the Eddie and who's the Venom? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> I like how we were racing for the joke, and mine was- we were racing for a joke, and mine was mono <laughs> I love yours more. Oh, like, dear god. The two dear. types of this chat. Hey, Yumi, uh, you might be able to help me with this. There was a piece of fan art that got posted on Twitter after- B and K got announced for Smash, where Kazooie's like, oh, Banjo's having a rough day, I should be nice to him. And then she just goes, hey, idiot! I've been trying to find it, but I can't find it, so if you know where it is, huh. feel free to link it. Look, I a bottle. I'm familiar with Grunty's Revenge. Not a bottle, a bucket. A bucket? The bucket is also alive. Okay, there's Are a the hole. Are the inside of the bucket, uh, or the outside? Grunty's Revenge is the GBA. The eyes seem to be on the lip of the bucket. The bucket lip. Mm. Oh uh, no. It, okay, this is an interesting puzzle. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Oh, there it is. This is a very important sandcastle. In addition to being a place where you can get a jiggy, it's also the place where all the cheat codes get input. Ted. Yeah. I can't remember any of them, but it's... I will tell you this. As an adult who's spent a lot of time on the internet, a lot of the cheat codes have a very interesting sound to them. Like, for example, yeah. Banjo begs for plenty of eggs. Oh. Or fill the bear with lots of air. <laughs> yeah, don't drown. Or many goes with lots of banjos. <laughs> but for oh now, we're God. just going to spell Banjo Kazooie. The internet has broken us. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Awesome. Banjo begs for plenty of eggs, alright? <laughs> Um, if anybody wants to input some sort of cheat codes into my tabletop games, it will be in the form of banter because they're cheat codes. Okay, good. <laughs> I was hoping it was going to be just in the form of any rhymes that we come up with. I mean, I do like rap, so if you, you rhyme it, I'll probably love it. Are we going to have to do it in some sort of sandcastle form? Maybe. If all the O's been... yes. Uh, oh, camera is kind of being tricky about that one. Yeah, you yeah. can't really. There it is. Yeah, I, I'm resisting strongly the urge to give any directions because I know the lag is going to make them uh, unusable. Yep. <laughs> yeah, same here. This crab, black snippet. Crab battle. Crab it's battle. It's a. Crab battle! Time for crab. It's time for battle. Crab battle! Oop. 
Oh, the no. goth crab. He's so tough. <laughs> Oh no, why did we kill it? It was a comrade. Nope. I mean, maybe it's black and red because he likes Hot Topic. There was still a comrade! Maybe it's black and red because <laughs> he just wants to go very fast. And he thought that was the fastest it's, thing. Job. He's the ultimate life form. So he's an orc? <laughs> Listen. Techno music. Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, look at that. There's a, there's a mysterious... There's a mysterious island. Let's find out what it says. Oh, wait, it wait. says Shark Food Island. Cool. <laughs> That's a place you want to go. <laughs> I swam out to it because I was like, oh, perfect. So did I. When I was little, I think, I think the resolution might be higher in this emulator, but when I played this on the N64, I could not see what that said, so I went all the way out to it to find out what it said, and that, that went well for me. <laughs> Maybe. Scale. The clam enemies, yum yums, they they steal your shit when they hit you. So I'm planning not to get hit by one. Hmm. They also slightly save them when you when, when you when they die. Yeah, a little bit maybe. Anyways, Listen. let's let's use these spring jumps. See, if you break it to seventy five pieces, you're gonna kinda slow down a rail of you. Something that's nice about the um, about the spring jumps is that even if you go off of them after you start the jump, the jump still happens. So you can so you can move around a little bit, as long as what you're looking for is at the same height. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Don't tell the game cops. It's your own RAM, it's your own ROM that you dumped into the yeah. later. Yes, exactly. It, it's fine, she's gonna delete it in 24 hours. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm definitely going to delete it in 24 hours. This is definitely not a ROM that I've had on my computer for months. Listen, no copyright infringement intended. All rights <laughs> to their respective owners. Yeah. <laughs> I have been listening to like music on YouTube just finding new stuff and there are a bunch of channels that do like actually get like permission from the artist so it's just so weird when I come across a channel that looks like that but doesn't actually have any attribution to the artist <laughs> except all the all rights reserved no copyright infringement meant <laughs> Remember when I used to just put art on- when I used to just make art on DeviantArt, I would just write copyright me <laughs> at the bottom? That's, that's how copyright works! You yes. did it. <laughs> Didn't you hear I add a copyright at the bottom of each uh, I think thing? it- I think it did. Yeah. First time I oh man, mimics. Very non-stealthy mimics. Technically it's copyright without- Having to add that, but... Anyway, there's something I've been avoiding a little bit. What could be over here? What a mystery. Hey, there's a molehill up on this crow's nest? Somehow. That Don't makes worry sense. about it. You're worried. Stop yeah, you're making a you're making a mountain out of it. Don't. <laughs> and now we can fly. Thank you for the red feathers. Everybody in this game is so snippy towards each other <laughs> because they mostly talk to Kazoo. <laughs> Just to feel the instinctual urge to defend Kazooie, <laughs> and I think that says something about me. Oh, oh, god damn it! <laughs> fuck, shit, fuck. It's Gruntilda's booty! Let's go touch Gruntilda's booty. 
Oh no. Well, well, that went entirely predictably. This is what happens when you touch Gruntilda's booty. I will get that booty. Swiggity swooty. Swiggity swooty, I'm coming for that booty. All I remember about Gruntilda's booty is that it's very hard to get. Yeah. That sure is an entirely programmed camera angle. <laughs> Uh, so Grunty was just like, the game's gonna be harder now that you got that one because I hate you. I don't think it actually changes the difficulty at all, as far as I know. Maybe it does? I've never not gotten it, so I wouldn't know. You're just that good. You gotta get all of them. You touched your booty, now she's not. Are there notes? God, I've just remembered a cursed thing. I will never touch a butt again. I will touch butts all I like, but... I what if it makes the game hard? <laughs> Take damage to save time. <laughs> Help. <laughs> oh, the camera just did some stuff. Oh, no! Oh, it's a coming. Yep, here we go. Also a big red X. Stream. Now know exactly how long the camera delay is. <laughs> stream delay is. Follow the arrow if you're looking for gold. I am looking for gold. And so I shall follow. Love that big clip art arrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come for you later, Jinjo. Thanks, I <laughs> You're welcome, Jinjo. <laughs> And another one. Whee. I always really liked flying too. Just, it's fun. Yeah. Flying is good in most games. I want to fly more in video games. I want to fly high. There's a somebody made a jetpack, and you could buy it. And I'm, I want to save up money and buy a jetpack. <laughs> In real life? Wordsy, I life. feel like that if you owned a jetpack, I'm pretty sure you would just die. I'm pretty I... sure. Wordsy, you have enough. You, you put your life in enough danger just by, like, walking around <laughs> on the ground. I don't want to think what you'd do if you had aerial capabilities. <laughs> I would fight a plane. Oh, dear. But yeah, don't. Ha! I'll never find the mysterious treasure now. Oh, wait, there it is. Found it. Please open me gently. Okay, I'll open you gently. Here I go. Gentle. That was, oh, that's the gentlest. The emulator put some. Oh, his eyes. On this guy. Oh, his eyes are, are triangles. <laughs> a little lock up. Oh. <laughs> Just ate a baby. Oh, uh, way to walk up. I'm gonna guess that was an emulator issue. That was that was an emulator issue. The emulator messed up my eyeball. Oh no. I can't do the baby voice. Hello, I'm Widow Walk Up. <laughs> Hello, I'm Widow Walk Up. Hello, Mr. Mrs. Kazooie. Oh. And then she flips some of the birds. 
That's which is herself. That's that's the beat buster, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> she is the bird, and he is flat. A, a single. Okay. Oh. Why? <laughs> Stream delay. Just how close you missed that note twice. <laughs> Listen. Three platformers, you know. Little Haley's playing on hard mode. <laughs> it's true. Got... I I got the Yeah, you touched the booty, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing I can there's nothing I can do about it. Such... It's fine. It's I do fine. have to say, uh, after doing, like, Mario and all, uh, looking at this, I'm really glad that Spyro has sparked <laughs> so that your pickup radius is bigger. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, these buttons are called witch switches, as witch when, switch, you, when you hit them, uh, you... It just makes a jiggy appear out in the overworld. Which one? Those are witch switches, as opposed to me, who's a switch witch. Shush. <laughs> yeah. Which switch is the switch switch for? Never speak again. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, here we are. I'm just very confused. Which switch is it? It's a witch. It's a. Shush. <laughs> Is it the witch switch or the switch switch? Shush. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm not. I don't. I'm not trying to be in stitches. The switch just sort of. God. <laughs> the similarity is that you can. Is like... <laughs> I started laughing at my own dumb joke. And failed. Listen, listen. This stream, we've 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 caught a hit. I needed a witch switch as a hit switch. A similarity to me as a, as a switch witch, and witch witches is that you can hit both of us to turn us off. <laughs> Don't make me get in there and throw something at you. <laughs> Spray with water. The coldest water you can yeah, like find, please. <laughs> Just. Oh, it's just labeled on it, Fiona's acting up. <laughs> oh, like a loud can full of beans. <laughs> uh, God. Fucking Christ. I try to run a nice stream. I try to just kind of be friendly. <laughs> And then we flip a switch! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Don't you dare! Uh. Luckily the game's even running good, this is no glitch here. Oh. <laughs> it's just still keeping up the itch. Uh. <laughs> Crimes. Wordsy has his own separate crimes. That's right. These crimes are not related, but they are equalish. They are equal. E mm -hmm. are they? I've lost my ability to speak. Oh no. That happens in almost every stream I've been on. <laughs> this is interesting. Oh. Thank you, Yumi. Oh I appreciate- I appreciate your support. Please don't encourage them. Oh. I'm- I'm going to laugh so hard. There's a I shark. Encouragement or not, you can stop me. You can stop me. And then I'll be gone. But don't worry, I'll come back as a lich. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop me. Would require both kicking me 
NPO out because I can just walk out there. And just <laughs> I'm going to kill this mine. Do you want? <laughs> do you? Do you care about this mine, Fiona? I'm sure you do. It has eyes. I will kill this mine. Uh, uh, yes, me, famous, uh, famous eye liker. I'm gonna kill it. Do this it. This will be your fault. This is your. This is blood is on your hands. Like Haley. it's the first. <laughs> Haley, I don't know about this one. This, I think we should ditch this pitch. <laughs> and with that. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, Dude. fuck Christ. Fuck Christ. Jesus fuck Christ. Fuck. Oh. I got the Jinjo, I didn't get the Jiggy, and now there is a fucking shark after me again. Oh. That's life sometimes. Oh, this is rich. <laughs> oh. Oh. You're a long way from shore, huh? Long way from shore. Oh, oh man. Uh, Haley, I'd like to thank you for allowing me to be on the stream. Hey, Wordsy. Yeah. You're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm glad Wordsy's stamina has distracted from my much worse crime. <laughs> I don't even remember. <laughs> oh. I would like to thank Do you everybody. want me to say it again? No. Thank everybody for joining us on this Twitch stream. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the Twitch switches. All of these uh, objects with eyeballs and stuff really provide a lot of kitsch, I think. <laughs> Banjo is a good game that brings people together. <laughs> I let me tell you about a story <laughs> that happened while I was in this level, and it's the reason that my family doesn't doesn't do April Fool's jokes anymore. Mm -hmm. My I was I was playing this game so much, and then one day on April first of 1990 something, probably 1998, my parents came in and were like, hey, the landlord is upset with was with the electric bill and you can't play video games anymore. And I cried. Oh no. Oh. And I was, I was so mad at them. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sharing that story on Twitch. Ow. Oh. I just needed something to talk about that wasn't anything else. <laughs> Sounds like that's still the, the stitch with your family in April. <laughs> <sighs> I think this might be worse than P words. <laughs> I don't know, we had a lot more F. Bro. Theoretically, we might <laughs> run out of words that rhyme with witch, though, so that's nice. At as least. long as nobody- hey, people in the chat, do not tell us any more words. Don't be a snitch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there's six more notes somewhere. Let's find them. Mm -hmm. All done with the line. The draw distance on, like, sprites in this kind of makes hunting for notes a little... A little rough. A little rough. It's a real, it's a real bitch. <laughs> <laughs> See, Ketzel's just reusing them because we don't expect Ketzel to. Hey, public <laughs> opinion. Hey, public opinion. How you doing? How's your All day right. going? Thank you. I'm so glad <laughs> to hear it. I'm enjoying stream times with my friends. I, you're, you're my best friend, Pio. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to let you know how much I appreciate you and your friendship. Yeah. Well, thank you, you too. 
H Haley, can I? Did you hear something, Pio? <laughs> I'm really enjoying this stream that we're doing, just the two of us. We can make it if we try. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh. Well, I got an extra life, but there wasn't there wasn't any notes. Hmm. Just the shark island. That's. Man. This level is a lot less linear than the Mumbo's Mountain, so it's. Yeah, the the levels get more complicated as they go on, and. Really de go. Treasure Trove Cove and Mumbo's Mountain are definitely kind of a leap. See, they might be in treetops. Let's start climbing trees. <laughs> hmm. It's not in the shell, right? I don't think so. I think I got. I'm pretty sure I got all of the notes in the shell. All of the. The N big shell incident. <laughs> notes in the shell is my favorite manga. <laughs> With the major. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, you think, you think we're talking about a major, but she's actually like, a major dominant. Yeah. yeah. She's major in English. She's she's G major. <laughs> ghost, ghost major. <laughs> oh, that's true. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna fly around near the X's and see if... Oh, I think I know where they are. Haven't explored this pool yet. Are coming to arrest me for my crimes. Let's see. There's a mumbo token here. Those, those are useful. Yeah, mumbo's not in this level, by the way. He's only in some levels. Huh. There they are. Count towards collection. They do not. They're just useful to have. So, do you use up one of the skulls when you turn into an animal? Uh. Not just one. They they cost various amounts. Like the termite cost five, and then later... but it's a uh, it's a one time. It's a, um, if I remember. Yes. Transformation. Yeah. All right. Just gonna fly around. See if I see anything. How many do we have left? Three. Like so. 41 extra mumbo tokens? Jeez, that's a lot. Hmm. Yeah, they they give you a lot of. Like, later ones Mumbo cost, one? like. Yeah. They're. They're not a necessary collectible, so it's like. They just let you. They just put a lot of them there, so you can just find them easily. Let's see. There's At the so top of the thing, maybe? Going. So. They might be at the top of the thing. Hmm. I remember seeing like some notes around those stairs, but I don't know if you already got them. Here Which stairs? Go. Aha! Yes. Found him. But wait, you located. That's true. Oh. Yay! Very nice. How do we miss these? I don't know. Uh, I think we, jumped, we might have skipped. We jumped, up, we jumped up the other side of this thing. Uh, yeah. It was doing the pro strat jumps. So. Aha! You found. Them. Yep. And we have completed the level. Ta-da! Went off without a hitch. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You're right. It did go off with very easily. It was easy to do. I can make a worse joke here, but I'm not. So thank so I congratulate you <laughs> for my restraint. Congratulations. I can make the worst joke there, but still I'm not. Thank you for not being horrible. <laughs> do you want a cookie? Yes. Cool. Go bake yourself a cookie then. <laughs> I'm glad that you left the little beehive alive. I I have 
I bear no ill will towards hives. They are friend. I do bear much ill will toward crab, though. <laughs> this crab's kicking your ass. No, it's not. Shut up. Nah. It would never. It couldn't. We finished another world. And soon we will. We will. We will. <laughs> huh. know. There, so there's one inaccessible mambo token. I think I think what they I think what they mean is that like you can only carry 115 at a time. Maybe I have no idea. Oh. Is it like that's that one Mario coin that's like underneath strange. the hill? <sighs> it's a mystery. Well, I'm gonna open up the next level and then we can say good night. Okay. It, it feels so good to play this game again, y'all. It's kind of bewitching. I... I didn't even mean that. <laughs> I love this sure. game so much. It still looks nice, even though it's like, what, 20 years huh. old? Yeah, it's like tw it's huh. over 20 years old at this point. It came out in 1998, so it's like 21. Wow. Banjo Kazooie can drink. <laughs> and Kazooie definitely does. <laughs> Super a lot. Yells at everyone. For being it's kind of uncomfortable when she gets going. <laughs> Just kind of shouts. She's like, don't be dumb. Ah, <laughs> time. Two mumbo tokens share, share the same flag, so when you collect one, the other disappears. Oh, interesting. That is interesting. Oh. Huh. Grunty, trying to recruit just Kazooie. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you're gonna create recruit one, go to Clanker's cabin next. All I remember about this level is a Clanker himself, and b I think it was either this one or a similarly themed level in Banjo Tooie had some kind of alligator mini game that I had a friend and they couldn't beat it, so I had to. Uh, you are actually is... thinking of two different levels. But it's a different level. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Clanker's Cavern and Bubble Gloop Swamp are two completely different levels. Okay. They are both uh, very swampy, though. One of them's a sewer. Alright. I'm gonna say goodbye to y'all, but let's take a moment to watch. Every time you save and quit, you get, a, you get a failure. It technically counts as a failure state, so you get the bad ending. So let's take a moment to watch that. Um, and... Let's say goodbye now. Um, goodbye, folks. Goodbye, Thanks folks. Thanks for hanging out, Yumi Sparkles. Yeah, thank, I, I'm glad you enjoyed. Happy Pride. Um, we'll probably be back next week to play through this game. We have been playing through Paper Mario, but I'm putting that on hold because there is reason to celebrate Banjo-Kazooie as of late. And there's so. never reason to celebrate Paper Mario. I celebrate Paper Mario every day just by waking up. Um, <laughs> anyways, thank you, thank you for joining us, and let's lose the game, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good night, everyone. Night. Night. Sure. <laughs> This will just guilt a kid into never quitting the game. <laughs> I, I think this game is super completable in like one sitting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I definitely so... felt bad every time. <laughs> Look, it's hot Gruntilda. Hot Grunty is oh, hot. Wow. Yeah, she's uh This caused some things. <laughs> yeah, this is causing some things, I've got to be honest. <laughs> How did I... they find that many polygons? Mumbo, you traitor. They used up all the polygons on her model. <laughs> oh, poor Tootie.
Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. <laughs>